All right, here's the last one out of the ones I'm doing for today. We're playing S-Force, which I've never heard of. Hopefully, it's not, uh, terrible. Practice. Hello, dog. Don't, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't shoot yourself. No. Stop it. Stop. Bad dog. Okay, uh, many of the S Force monsters have effects that are applied to enemy monsters in front of them. The effect applies not only to itself, but also to monsters in front of other S Force monsters as well. Use this to your advantage by deploying multiple S Force monsters to encircle your opponent in a pinch. Yeah, sure. No, not card guard! Okay, Razor. Each of your opponent's monsters in the same columns when it cannot be used as material for the link summon of okay. And then this guy lost you special summon another one from hand. Seems simple enough so far. Uh can only target that monster for attacks. Quick fact you can banish one S Force card from hand, return this card to hand if you do special summon one from your deck. Special summon S Force Platina. Loses 600 attack. Oh, and that just brings the other one back. Great. And this guy is banished when it leaves the field. Wait, what the fuck? Banished when it leaves the field. Jesus Christ, these guys just sort of go off. Special summon one S-Force monster from hand, defense position, target one S-Force monster in the graveyard, add it to your hand. Okay. Uh, oh, well, we have a Link monster too, evidently. Can't target any of their monsters in the same column as one of your estimates with card effects. I uh, can't target his own monsters. Neat. When a monster your opponent act controls access effect and banish one S card from hand, destroy that monster. We're going for S Fourth. Justify. Cannot summon set monsters to his own. This card points to. Uh quick fact, you can chart one face effect monster your opponent controls. Engage effects until the end of this turn, then you can move the monster to punch one to the monster on this card punch. Ah, uh, so this guy points to stuff. Oh my god, this is weird. Okay, um So successful okay. Banished, <laughs> Okay, I, I think I get it, but geez. That was a long combo line. I'm not gonna be able to remember that. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I assume this is gonna be like generic S Force Mirror. Which, that could be weird. Okay, we have the field spell, which is a generic ad, as all field spells are, apparently. Um, can't be sure what battle. You can only suspect once return. You can activate one person. Okay. Uh, fuck me. Um, what was the one? This one? 
Yeah, this is the one that summons from hand. We're gonna use that. Sure. Okay. Razor. Activate. Um. Special summon level two. Okay, I'm gonna summon this guy, and then we're just gonna make this dude. I just figure that's probably the best thing to do right now. Throw the damage to this card, taxing banish all monsters this card points to. What? <laughs> Excuse me? That seems pretty good. Um, I didn't really want to do the other effect. Yeah, I want to do this effect so we can banish him and not have to worry about his effect later. That's a, that's a pretty good effect. This guy's a cyborg. Are those cybers? Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, let's go to the card from hand to go. Um, sure, I'll just do this. I don't care. I want to get it into my grave so I can have it, um, ready for another turn if I need to, uh, use an effect. Uh,. Summon something big. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I probably should have gotten the other one so I could have summoned this guy back from the hand. Whatever, we're just trying to get the biggest board possible here. Uh, we could also do this to get another search. Alright, there we go. This looks, uh, this looks decent. Easy lethal. Alright. It's not too complicated. I'm, uh, I'm seeing the lines pretty easily, I think. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is cute. Too bad we're not uh, watching it today. Maybe another day. Okay. Uh. Oh, they're playing monarchs. They play in Monarchs, I don't like it. BLS, huh? We got the lights and darks. Uh, we want this guy, right? Yeah. Edge Razor, that's the one we want. I just... Okay, no, we do have one. Okay. I'm just gonna keep these on the field. I could link off and then go to BLS, but I'd rather do that on my on my next turn once my opponents actually start to establish themselves. Okay. Um I don't think I can get three cards in the same column, I just don't have enough stuff.
For safety. Ugh. This isn't good. Go ahead and uh, banish that guy. All right. Uh... Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Wow. All right. That is decent. Oh, shit. I should have done something with that. I didn't read the rest of that card. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to summon that yet. I'm gonna do... Okay. Okay, that got scary, but <laughs> we made it- we made it work in the end. I was really thinking about the, uh, <laughs> the columns here, because I didn't want to put anything in an S-Force column. Oh, man. Okay, opponent's gonna have Goyo Guardian. Good to know. Okay, what the fuck is this? Is this fucking chain burn? What the hell? Uh, okay, let's see if we can draw into another S4 so we can just go into Justify as quick as possible. There we go, okay. Alright. Uh, is it this thing? 
What was the one that searches the spell trap? This one. Uh, this one. Uh, I'm just gonna add another edge razor for next turn. I'm going to justify. Unfortunately, if he can summon Goyo Guardian, we are in trouble. Uh, quick effect, you can banish one F card for hand. Okay. Why the hell would you do that? That seems like such a terrible idea. Okay, good turn. Good turn, buddy. Totally planned. Totally, absolutely, 100% planned. So this seems a little crazy. I'm actually going to add from Graveyard. I'm going to get my Razor back. Not lethal, unfortunately. Trickstar Candina. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> what a fucking crazy deck that is. Holy moly. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Woo. All right. The moment that I've been waiting for. How the hell are they going to do an Ally of Justice gate? I don't think they got new support. So, alright, let's see how they tell the dual terminal story. <laughs> Clearly not as good as I would, but you know. Alright, here we go. Alright, on a certain planet, several tribes were at war, trying to expand the territory of the Conquest Continent. However, since none possessed superior military power, the battle between the forces was at a stalemate. Long-lasting war seems like it would continue for decades, or even for all time. However, the battle will come to a conclusion in an unexpected way with the W Nebula meteorite. Uh, that conclusion was a giant meteorite flew from outer space. Organic matter on that meteor adapted to the new environment and began to multiply and evolve. These invasive worms that drift through space and devour stars have begun their invasion of the planet. Facing these interstellar invaders, the tribe signed a truce agreement, formed the Allies of Justice. 
Uh, protect the tribal lands. Ice barrier. Yep, they released Brianak. Lanvels. Yurukwazaz. Mist Valley. And X Sabers. Gotums. They're a few in number, but highly skilled. Alright, sounds good so far. Are we just going to play the different archetypes? And not actually have to do an Ally of Justice thing? Because, <laughs> my god. Okay. Try to put value and post one more if I can wipe them all out. They learned, began to evolve, yes. Get to multiply. Tries were destroyed, the breaking station that represents the surviving tribes guys have a debate. The invaders are powerful, individual strength is no match against the enemy. Now it's time to join forces and stand together, thus the four prominent tribes on the continent. Ice Barrier, Flamville, Mist Valley, and X Saber. Got together to form the Ally of Justice. Each tribe began to develop weapons against worms. Multiple enemies designed to destroy the enemy were put. The multiple weapons designed to destroy the enemy were put to the test on the battlefield. Thus, the all-out war against worms was cyber intensified as the days progressed. All right. Fair enough. Practice. Okay. No way. What is an Ally of Justice deck even supposed to look like? <laughs> I didn't even make one for the Yu-Gi-Oh fucking masochism series. How the hell is this going to work? This is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of Jet Synchro. We don't need that. That card's trash. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you wanted a new graveyard, of course. I know how Jet Synchro works. Oh, man. Are we gonna summon fucking Light Gazer? Or Field Marshal? Oh, Cataster, yeah, I guess that, that works. Oh, you have Light Gazer, though, come on. Why would you want to do that? Why don't we go for damage? Okay, whatever. Whatever, dog. I'm... I'm scared. I'm really fucking scared. This is... <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, they have worms. Yagin! Worm Yagin! Ugh. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I love this one. This the, the whole archetype is supposed to be good against lights. That's the whole thing. They were built to beat the worms. If a light monster is on the field, destroy this card. <laughs> uh, uh. Why? Ah. <laughs> uh. It's our extra deck. We got Gear Gigant. Scythe of Armor, Field Marshal, Light Gazer, Cataster. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? What were they thinking with this? Oh my god, they have Worm Call. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. This is where Reverse Breaker is going to come in handy. Ha ha! <laughs> 
I don't need to return that because that's not going to be good. I can do that. Okay. Crunch! Ha ha! <laughs> you fool! No! Come on! Why does he get destroyed then? <laughs> oh my god. Fuck me. I don't even have a 7 that I can actually go into here. Oh my god. <laughs> what did he add? Did he add Zex? Oh my god. Okay. You fool. You're supposed to summon Zex first and then go for Yagon. Uh, okay, so that summons a tuner, right? Yeah. What was this? Fine. Get rid of Yagan, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, let's do this. We'll summon Searcher. Searcher, and then what do we have in here? Are they all tuners? Tuner, tuner, non-tuner, but if I summon that, he'll die. Oh wait, his effects are negated. Unfortunately, that I can't make anything with that. <laughs> Okay, let's uh let's make Cataster then. Okay. I could I could summon back a tuner and go into wait, uh, maybe I can't. No, I can. I could go into Light Gazer. And Light Gazer's really fucking funny, so let's do that. I just can't fucking believe this. This is insane that they actually made an ally of fucking Justice deck. By the way, yeah, putting those, uh,. Banishing those guys means I have a weaker light gazer, but whatever. Coward, didn't even want to flip your fucking worm there. Okay. Barsies. Why Barsies? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, Nullifier actually seems kind of cool. Um, Barsies has 1500 defense. Okay. Uh, attacking here is efficient, but attacking here might negate a flip effect so that could do something. I think that's more worth it. What is the fucking point of having a worm killer if it still lets them activate their flip effects? Oh my god, this is so this is such a trash archetype. Oh, wow. Terrible. Here we go. Good job, worms. You fucking lost.
God damn. Okay, the weapons initially performed as expected, however, after a certain period of time, they became ineffective. Why? Because the worms adapted to those weapons. They evolved. They adapt. Unknown Crusher couldn't even freeze them. Rudra couldn't burn them. Clausalus specialized in ambush from the skies. But the invaders acquired the ability to camouflage. Even the flashes of Thousand Arms, they developed. They counter, they counter fucking the counter this. Species of impenetrable hardened skin, and once they can divide and regenerate, Giants initially pledged allegiance to overcome the existential crisis together. However, the original dispute was unresolved, and differences of opinion and disorganization among the tribes had flared up once again. If this continues, they are sure to lose. To counteract the invaders, they had to truly unite, otherwise, what is the Alliance for? Or tries to put aside the past ruts and decide to truly cooperate with each other. Yeah, this should be fucking Thunderlord. I don't know why Executor's here. But the engineers of each tribe analyze the pros and cons of their weapons, as well as the worm's characteristics. Offensive suppress powers, close combat, defensive capabilities, and brawls, maneuver against like launcher, and Jesus Christ, mass pressure through standardization, combine the best of their technology, and major weapons born. Decisive armor? Or just catastrophe. Alright. We're not quite there at decisive armor yet. <laughs> I love rather being honest, you know, Catastra is the best one. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna continue the dual terminal story through this, that'd be kinda cool. Ally mind, yay. Justice before attribute. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck is going to spend their money on the Ally of Justice packs? Oh my god, alright, here we go. Now I have to do these fucking... These two. God help me, give me something good that I can play so I don't have to play Ally of Justice. No, Come on, not Reactors, dude! Oh, please, oh, Dark Flat Top, no! Oh, no! Ah, oh, that's not. Why are they playing Alan Justice? What's the point? Oh my God! What's your entire dark machine so much destroy? Must you control the dark source? Punch my card. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Heavy Metal Raiders. Oh, what? Uh, Summon Reactor SK. Hell yeah. New Heavy Metal Raiders. This is fucking awful. Sure. Heavy mech support platform, Jesus Christ. Fool, you summoned a light mon Why do I have so many of those? I like how that can activate heavy bell raiders, because one of your monsters destroyed a monster. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I don't know what the fuck kind of deck that was. <laughs> hey, level up. 
Okay, last one. They're on Monarchs again. Let's hope they're using Edia. What the fuck is this? What is this? Come on! <laughs> you didn't want me to use Scroll of Bewitchment to make my enemy a light? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! That's not fair! <laughs> oh my god... Oh... Why... What the hell is this? Okay, that's a lot of back row. Sure. Can I use this? God. Already regretting the Black Garden. Whatever. Just go. Just go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm trying to be light. <laughs> well. This isn't good. <sighs> I don't know what this deck is supposed to be. Card looks cool. Is he, is he supposed to be like a mechanical hound, except magical hound? Um. Could go Cataster. Are we going for damage? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, DNA transplant. Let's go. Uh, alright. Bounce that back. Summon you. Cry. What is this thing? Is there anything else I can summon? Do I have a seven? I do. That's not a bad card. Oh, I have a lot of level 7s. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Light gazer. 
How about we don't summon Light Gazer, please? So bad, so bad. What the fuck, dude? What the hell is this fucking deck? It's just bad, Angel. It's just so bad, Angel. Okay, kind of gave that to him. <laughs> oh my god, what were they thinking with that one? Holy fuck! <laughs> Konami never wanted you to make a deck out of that. I am, I am sure of it. There's no way Konami would ever actually want you to make a dedicated Ally of Justice deck. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna do the, the, the custom deck ones on my own, because again, that's really boring, but yeah. Uh, Alright, that was gonna end the, the trilogy of videos here of me catching up on the the uh, Master Duel story stuff, so uh, yeah, maybe I'll do more in the future, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, if worms are invading your planet, uh, don't, I, I would not trust these guys, honestly. So, that's the moral of the story today.